Hey, what's going on, everybody? What up, what up, what up? Young Brawling here in Clash Shira on my main account with the goal of Night Witch. I got some replays I want to share with you guys. That got me to 63.17, new season highest. Um, Earlier, I checked I was in the top 1K in USA. Still in the top 1K. So 63.17 puts me at 890 in the country. Let's check out the games that got me up there. Well, this was just the quick cycle deck challenges at three. This was a really good game right here. Went against a player that finished 827 in the world last season. Really, really nice game. We'll go back to that one. This is the one we'll check out as well. Had the double prince giant miner. Um, and we'll check out these three right here. We'll check out this Lava Hound. But before I do that, let me go ahead and turn off the game sounds. Sensitive skin? Now you can have your scent and feel good too. Fatisil sensitive scents washes are here. Ah, here we go. Mm. All right, so the game started off with the opponent starting off with the Lava Hound. I didn't have it much to respond with. The best option was the Night Witch. Same lane, we're going to use the bats to help take care of the Lava. So way back, I did Mega Minion. I wanted to see if there was a lightning i wanted you know what i mean i didn't want to get lightning so that's why i waited for the night wish to cross mega minion there helps us take care of the mega lava hound lava hound alone doesn't do too much damage on the tower so you don't have to worry about that it's the support units that are behind the lava hound we gotta watch out for so now we got a play that the opponent has a response to here All right, Baby Dragon there picking up quite some hits, though. So I go with the Golem. At the same time, the opponent goes with the Lava Hound, too. <laughs> and the Shining in the Dark. All right. We're going to see how this one worked out. Go with the Night Witch. That's when I figured out there was a Bomb Tower in, the, in this deck. But that was a lot of elixir spent though on defense. Bomb tower is four, poison is four, barbarous is two. That's ten. And then four on the baby dragon. Fourteen. A lot of elixir spent. So that tells me that we we might have the elixir advantage because we didn't spend that much elixir. We spent eight on the golem and four on the night witch. Now at this moment we're pretty even. So I go with the bar barrel, I cycle. For some reason, the opponent did not respond to that. And that was a mistake made on that part to let go that play. You cannot leave alone Lumberjack with full health. That's just not, don't want to do that. Unless you're trying to give up that tower completely. Here, you see, I go with the Night Witch in front because I want the uh, Inferno Dragon to be distracted by the bats. And that actually did a pretty good job. Then I used the NATO to help finish that off. Lumberjack here on the minor. Barbaro to hold off both the dragons. Cycled the Night Witch right there too. To distract the dragons and the lava pups and stuff. Just 10 seconds left into the game. Just have to defend. Try not to go over aggressive here in the game. And we should be fine. That was game number one against the Lava Hound Double Dragon. Let's check out the next one. The next one we're going to check out. It's a Double Prince Giant Minor Poison with the Musketeer.
So the starting four, I had Lightning, Mega Minion, Lumber, Baby Dragon. I'm going to speed this game up a little bit. So there was a Zep on the right tower. Started with the Mega Minion in that same lane. Lightning just the musketeer to get that out of the way. You know, in return, the opponent goes with the Dark Prince in the opposite lane. And we want to absolutely defend this. I'll go with the Night Witch. Well, the reason I sacrificed Night Witch is because the Golem wasn't in the cycle, so I wasn't going to play Golem and Tango Elixir anyway, so it's okay to cycle it. It's a Lumberjack right there with Mega Minion raged up. This play actually did a lot of damage to my left tower. But the rage was nice on the Mega Minion and the Baby Dragon. That helped to um, stop the Prince and the Giant play there. Here comes the Dark Prince play with the Musketeer. Barbaro. So I realized that the Musketeer there had locked onto the tower, so I didn't want to spend Elixir again because that tower was already lost. Here we got a Golem Knight, which play going, right? The poison comes out. But Lumberjack and Baby Dragon leave the poison. Knight, which is still alive. I throw in a Mega Minion. All the units are actually still alive, so... That play right there was just everything. We broke to the tower using the rage there to just keep pushing straight for the three crown. Poison comes in a little late. And uh, I mean, fireball would have been better for the opponent in this deck. And we're in lightning range, so I'm able to throw in the lightning. Let's check out the next game. Yeah, this was the game. Beat the player that was 827 in the world last season. So let's check it out. Skeleton Baron starts the game off with the opponent. I go with the baby dragon. Skeletons there. Get like one or two hit on the tower. And the opponent responds with the Goblin Gang. At this time, I figured out this was a Mega Knight deck. So I go with the Golem. That baits the opponent to go in the right lane with aggressive play. That's a 10 elixir play. So that doesn't, that leaves the opponent with not much elixir. I don't respond to it. More elixir from the opponent. I go with the Mega Minion. I'm waiting, waiting. Barbaro to distract the Inferno Dragon. Mega Minion there finishes off the Mega Knight. I dado back the Inferno Dragon. Right. This was just enough to not lose our King Tower. 760 left on that tower. I'm holding back. Goblin Gang drops here in the right lane. You know, I'm able to defend that against the Lumberjack. And we got the three crowns. 